Hey everybody, Danny Mod here. Thanks for joining us. How close should you stand to the golf ball with your irons? How close should you stand to the golf ball with your driver? We're going to cover that in this week's training. Before I do that, if you're new to the channel, this is one of your first videos of mine, please consider subscribing. Press that little bell button next to the subscribe button and you get notified every time I release a video just like this one. So how close should you stand? Is it even important? The answer is absolutely yes. This sport, just like any sport, whether you're a senior golfer, junior golfer, middle-aged golfer, you need to be athletic. So I see a lot of golfers, for instance, looking a little bit like this. Now, from that position, they're not really gonna be able to toss this ball or hit this ball very, very far. I also see golfers that kind of look a little bit like this, and they wonder why they're not hitting it very far. So how close you stand to the golf ball is very, very important. So the question is, how do you go about doing it? Well, keep thinking in your mind, that you want to hit the ball a long way. I find, this is what I find with a lot of people, they're trying to get the perfect distance, they're trying to get the posture right, and it all becomes a little bit kind of, put the club down, make sure I've got the right distance here. I've seen this, use the hand width, got to get everything set. And the problem is, they're like statues rooted to the, uh, to the actual shot. This is a sport that requires athleticism, not perfection athleticism not perfection so what we want to do is is when you get to the golf ball yes there are certain checkpoints but what i want you to do is this i want you to get yourself set shoulders back put the club down on the ground here and what i want you to do is this i simply want you to kind of move your feet up and down with the club on the ground now watch this if you're here and you start moving your feet you'll feel uncomfortable but here look you're now finding your absolutely perfect balance points your feet are dynamic and the same thing with the club look Give the club a little bit of a waggle, put it down there. Now at this position, if your arms are nice and hanging down and relaxed, the club will just fall down and you'll be the perfect distance from the golf ball. Very, you know, very different, you don't have to remember anything. It's an athletic position that you're approaching. You know, you go and play someone like tennis, the tennis player doesn't kind of, in a sense, wait for the ball to come over and say, hang on a second, let me just get in the right position here. What they're doing is they're reacting to the tennis ball. I want you to do the same. There's the ball on the ground. We walk to the golf ball. Keep moving. Just feel a little bit athletic. Move the club around. Get waggled. Get yourself set. Put the club down. Nice relaxed arms. And from there, away we go. And all you're doing in this position is you're staying athletic each and every time. If I get here, I can't, I'm, bit, I'm restricted. I don't, I'm not, I don't have much, as much space. I don't have to tell myself to, oh, I've got to stand further away now. No, I just keep moving until I get into a position where I can swing nice and freely. Okay, simple as that. Not a lot to remember. I'll naturally get into all the positions that people talk about. Back and through. That is what I want you to remember when you think about how close you should stand to the golf ball. I could tell you you've got to be at this angle here, this angle here, this distance, but you know what? That is way, way too much to remember. You don't need to remember it. B, get yourself into an athletic position. Ask yourself, do I feel powerful? Can I, do I have space to move? If the answer is yes, then brilliant. If you can stay balanced in the process, fantastic. But that is how you learn to stand, or how far, or what distance you should stand close to the golf ball. Hope you find this useful. If you know somebody else who looks like they're wooden over the golf ball, they're stiff as a board, share this video with them. It will really, really help. And of course, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Until next week, everybody, have a great golfing week.